hi all welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to explain how to connect to websocket using alice blue api how to retrieve live data and finally place order with some ltp conditions this is third video of our algo trading series those who have not watched our previous videos please watch it before watching this video okay let's get into this video so first let's copy the websocket code here you can see the websocket code and this is the code i am going to copy so first uh, let's create a method of connect socket self here we have four callback functions and we are inside the class okay so we are calling using self dot alice self dot socket open this is one of the callback function that is called that is executed when socket is opened okay this is called when socket is closed and this is when any error occurred and finally this one is for printing the getting the message okay this will call when any new message comes i mean any tick data okay so we should define all these methods in our code okay so the socket open of cell this is called when socket is opened okay so print open so when socket is open we are setting our variable self dot self dot socket open to we are setting our variable self, self dot socket socket open to true okay so initially it should be false okay so i am defining our this code in our init method mm dot socket opened equal so initially the socket open is false and when the socket open is called we will assign the socket open method to true okay next socket close callback this one the socket close callback here the socket is closed okay when if any internet issues or anything occurs it will closed so self dot socket open equal to false so when the socket is closed we will call socket open as false okay we will assign socket open as false okay next socket error this will return a error message okay so we are printing that error message next one is feed data the data sent over WebSocket. Okay, uh, so message is the feed data message. Okay, this is feed data message. We print. We print this message. Okay, and okay, here first connecting the socket. This while loop continue until a socket opened is true. That means after socket opened is true, socket is open. And the remaining codes after this while loop is executed okay so here we should subscribe our instruments okay so here if we can see the after connecting we will subscribe okay this is subscribe code self dot le store get instrument by we are getting symbol okay by symbol nsc okay and we are working with infi right so i am giving infi here okay self dot alice dot subscribe up subscribe list let's call this connect socket function i will go dot connect socket Thing there is isn't okay in it okay okay you can see the connect opened is called and so socket is open but 
because we don't have any other codes that is running continuously uh, we, we are calling time dot sleep 10 seconds so 10 seconds it will wait okay before the program is finished okay so import time okay here you can see our uh, websocket message lpa1867 that is ltp of infi next let's retrieve this lp from this message okay this message is actually the text format uh, string format okay so first we should convert this into json code okay so message equal to json dot loads of message okay so we are just converting this into json format and after that if lp in message lp in message we will print that ltp okay message of lp let's call this sorry it should be inside our field data okay okay here is the ltp of our infi instrument okay this is how to use websocket and how to retrieve data using websocket okay let's add some condition so that it will place order on that condition okay for example infi is trading at 1867 rupees if it is going above 1868 let's place an order water let be greater than one eight six eight okay one eight six eight i'm going to place order set top place order is placed as it has gone above on one eight six eight it is placing multiple orders because every time when it goes up when it goes above one eight six eight it is placing order so let's assign a variable and so after placing one order it should be example order placed equal to false initially we are setting order placed equal to false and after on order is placed we are setting this to true okay so we will place order only when order placed equal to false okay and lp greater than 1868 so we will place order only once okay okay here we can see only one time the order is placed only once this is how to place order using our api instead of time dot sleep we can also use while while self dot while not self dot order place until no order is placed this loop is in loop is continue to execute and after that it will break okay 
சாப்பிட்டு சேஞ்சிட்டு ஒன் எயிட் சிக்ஸ் செவன் லெஸ் தேன் ஒன் எயிட் சிக்ஸ் செவன் லெஸ் தேன் ஒன் எயிட் சிக்ஸ் செவன் Here you can see after place order play order is placed the loop is broken and okay the program is finished